Okay, I'm here with, uh, this is Hugo, this is Lulu, and uh, off screen we have, Hugh, uh, we have uh, Bo, who uh, I worked with before. He's the old man at the house. In this video, we're gonna go over how you can potty train a puppy. Now these puppies have been having some accidents in the house, and if you're having, uh, if you give your dog too much access to the house, they're gonna run off and have accidents, and then that's gonna be like a giant neon sign saying, this is the place to pee right over here because they can smell it. So if you do clean up urine for dogs, you need to make sure it has an enzyme in it. The bottles will be pretty uh, adamant, that'll, uh, or pretty blatant, saying it's got the enzyme. Uh, there's no amount of Windex or whatever else it is, it, it's not gonna get on a molecular level. So what we wanna do is we wanna uh, give the dog a motivation to do the business in the place that we want. Now, two things you should never ever do when it comes to potty training. Rub the dog's nose in it, Chat, well, actually three things. Rub the dog's nose in it, chastise the dog, hey, bad dog, bad dog, no pee, or, uh, uh, well, I guess the two. Um, so what a lot of us do is we wanna say, no, I don't like you pottying. And we take the dog over, we show it to him, and the dog's like, you seem to get very upset when I potty. So when, and I have to potty like seven times a day. So instead of telling you I have to potty, I'm gonna go hide behind the couch and potty. So rubbing your dog's nose in it or chastising them will actually make them less likely to tell you that they need to potty. So don't do either one of those things. If you think you have to punish, punishment is required for the accident, you should get like a stick or something that will really hurt and then smack your own arm because you're the one who didn't take your puppy out fast enough. Uh, no sort of punishment will ever help the puppy. Now the three times a puppy is most likely to go, right after waking up, three to five minutes after eating, and 10 minutes after playtime. So we have basically cousins. They're from the same, same breeder, but different uh, mothers. And so basically when, at, when one of them, if they start wind up and they start running around the house, look at your watch. Okay, it's 434. At 444, uh, I'm gonna take them outside. The more that they're in the right place, the right time, the more they're likely to go. And then you get to reward them. Now, if I take them outside and it's time for Hugo to go, don't run around. Don't say anything. Don't say potty, 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 because it's out of context. We're going to use a marker word to begin with to let the dog know what we want them to do. Eventually, we're going to use a, we're going to change that to a command Q. So let's say I take Hugo out. Yes. Well, that was a good sit. Yes. So if I take Hugo out and he does not potty within five minutes, it's not urgent enough for him to go. Did you sit too when I missed it? There you go, buddy. So, um, if we leave, oh, and if we're running around, they're distracted. So take them outside and hold still. Um, it's winter time, there's snow. I would make sure if you haven't already, scoop out paths so there's a little section, so it's close to the grass. If you can get down to grass, that's great, because that's what will kind of be more easier for them to potty. So after five minutes, if they don't go, or if they're holding one of their paws up, they're saying they're too cold, bring it back inside, keep the puppy in your lap or on a leash, because uh, we're waiting for them to get fussy. Wait for about anywhere from five to 15 minutes or until they get fussy. As soon as they get fussy, take it back outside. Now the three times I said, right after waking up, after eating, three to five minutes after eating and 10 minutes after playtime, I would also recommend you take them out once an hour at every, you know, make it consistent. So again, more, the more that they're in the right place, right time, the more likely to go. Now, uh, so if they don't go, they come back inside and I hold them until they squirm or get wiggle and then I take them back outside. And I keep on repeating this in and out, five minutes out, until when I take them outside, they start to pee or poop. As soon as they start to pee or poop, at first, you're gonna say, yes. You're not gonna give them a treat though. You're just gonna say yes, now be careful. A lot of times when our dogs, have, when we're potty training our dogs, and I'm waiting for them to come in the shop and go, yes! That stops them from pottying. So don't be overexcited, dogs hear pronunciation. So as soon as they start to pee or poop, yes. Wait for them to finish, and when they get down, I usually get down like this, and I go, hold out a treat, they come over and I pop that treat in their mouth. All I'm doing is saying the word yes is my marker word to tell the dog yes, peeing or pooping is what I want. And then as soon as they get done, I give them a treat. Now, if you say yes and they stop peeing or pooping, then I might wait for them to be in the middle of their peeing or pooping and then say the word yes. But it usually means you're saying it too excitedly. So after a while, you'll and when you're doing this, I want you to observe your dogs. When your dog's gonna potty, it's gonna sniff the ground and often do a figure eights or sniff back and forth of the same area. If certain dogs, if you can look, uh, see their anus, um, and you see a puckering, you kind of know it's going to be number two. After a while, you'll start recognizing the mannerisms. When we want to introduce a cue, we want to say the cue right before the action. So the way it should be is a cue word is followed by the action that the cue word represents, which is followed by a reward. So what we want to do is you want to come up with a command word. A lot of people just say, potty, go potty, potty, go potty, go potty, 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 potty. Well, potty must just mean look at my human and not know what's going on because that we haven't put it in context. 
So if you've been saying potty a lot, I would recommend you come up with a different word. Business, splat, plop. Come up with something funny if you want. If you don't like a political figure, maybe say what name of that political candidate. So what you want to do is you, when you can anticipate that you're 90% certain the dog's going to do it, then you say business, the dog does it, then you can say, uh, and you could also say yes as well, but I would say business, as soon as the dog starts to pee or poop, say yes, then give them a treat. Now for dogs who are having difficulty with this, we might use a jackpot. A jackpot is a number of treats in a row. So let's say that Hugo's having difficulty cap figuring this out. So we take him outside and he does start to pee or poop. We say business, or well, we just, excuse me, we, at first we're training, he starts to pee or poop, we say yes, when he gets done, I would say, I'm not saying anything, I'm just delivering those treats. I want him, to, Hugo, to be going, what did I just do? Because I just got the mother load of treats. I gotta remember what I did, because I wanna get those treats again. What we're doing is we're telling the dogs, if you potty outside, you get this great reward. If you potty inside, nothing happens. There's no attention, there's no rubbing my nose in it, there's no, none of that stuff. If my intention, my intention is to get the treats that I really like, and the only way I get them is by going outside, now I'm going to start whimpering or whining, and then you take the dog outside. Now, if, your do if your dog's ever whimpering and whining as a puppy and you can't figure out what it is, they're probably telling you they want to go outside. Just take them outside. And don't just let them outside when you're potty training. You, somebody needs to go out with them, because if they do it, especially little dogs like this, they go so quick you won't see it, and then you don't reinforce it, then they're more likely to come inside. Well, it's cold outside. I'd rather just pee in here on the carpet or wherever else it is. So they just kind of get used to it. I know it's a pain. This is why I tell people to try to get dogs at the end of winter, not the beginning of winter, but it is what it is. So just make sure somebody takes, uh, goes out with the dog and I would take them out one at a time. The two cousins are gonna get each other riled up. They're gonna play and they're gonna forget they need to go. They come inside, they don't have the stimulus of outside. So they're, oh, I remember I got a potty and then they, you have an accident. So make sure that you're taking them out, like I said, those three times, right after waking up, five minutes after eating, uh, or three to five minutes after eating, 10 minutes after playtime, and once an hour. And right now, we've been here for like two hours. This is, after we get done with this video, we're gonna take them outside. Taking them outside more often, like I said, the, uh, the, the more they're in the right place, the more they're in the right time, the more successful you're gonna be. Well, this is Hugo. Oh, one last little thing. Water goes through dogs in about 45 minutes. So for potty training, if you wanna do it overnight, usually you wanna uh, pull the water about an hour before bedtime. As soon as you pull the water, take it, I would make sure they have water first, if they will, then take them outside to do their business, then bring them back inside, wait about a half an hour, take them outside to do it again, but the water has been dumped, so there's no water for them. And then after doing that maybe two or three times, then I go take them to the bed. I usually would sleep, have them sleep in a long-term confinement area. These dogs sleep in the parents' bed, and we don't want that to happen, because if they get the urine there, I've had clients, and they have to eventually replace the mattress. That's pretty expensive, it's even more expensive than carpet. All right, well, this is these licking two. This is uh, Hugo, and uh, why have I ever forgotten your name? Lulu. Lulu. Well, I don't understand why I can't remember that. And down there, let's pan down to the Bo. This is Bo Dodd. We worked with him a while ago. He's fully potty trained. I'm David, and these are some tips and tricks you can use on how to potty train a puppy.